How's it hanging everybody? I'm Kyle Wanger, this is Arena Hacks, welcome back. Uh, we're doing another Beginners of a Guide video today. Um, just basically picking up where I left off yesterday. Uh, as you can see, I was trying to get my 100 spells to get rewarded five brand new decks. And, um, <clears throat> and uh, so I left off, can't remember where I left it, I was somewhere around 50 spells I believe. So as you can see here, I'm at 83. Um, I kept playing a little uh, a little while after the video yesterday. Um, I modified the deck slightly a little bit. We'll get to that in a few seconds here. And um, yeah, I just got my spells up to 83. Uh, it was going pretty bad yesterday, uh, if you can remember. Uh, yeah, I was definitely not getting a lot of wins. It was kind of frustrating with uh, what I was getting off my deck, which is why I did do some modifications to the deck. And I did, I did get some wins, start getting some wins after that a little more frequently. So that was a little nice. Uh, and then as you can see, I also got pretty close to the 100 spells. So we're just going to finish that today. But first we're going to check this out, white or red spells. Just going to swap that, see if we can get 750. No, white or green. Okay. And uh, it's a little too early in the day, so the store shouldn't actually have a different deal. It'll probably have the exact same deal it did yesterday. <clears throat> okay. So here's the deck. Mostly the same. I did take Village Rights out for a little bit, uh, but then I ended up putting it back in. Just because it, it can be kind of handy from time to time. Uh, what did I change in here? Oh, I added uh, some more removal. Yeah, like murder, three murders, Mythos of Nethroi. Um, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly what I took out to uh, place it. Skyclave Shade, yeah, I definitely put that in. I'm not sure what else, what I did, what I took it. <laughs> Mythos of Nethroi and uh, some murders. So this murder, these murders probably came in one of the decks that we've unlocked already. I just found them in the collection. Like I haven't used any wild cards on this account, not even one. So uh, it may be, it's a Coria, so it probably wouldn't be in a pack that we got and opened. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where that came from, but uh, it was there in the collection, so I decided to use it. Uh, if not, you can just use a... Oh, this is uncommon. Murder is supposed to be a common card. Well, they give you these ones. You can find one in a different set, like M21 or something. The picture might be different, but you can just use a common wild card to get the others if, if you want to have a full set of four instead of using Mythos of Nethroi. Other than that, it doesn't look like I've changed too, too much. And like I said, I did, and I only changed a wee bit. It's mostly just this... Uh, this removal here to help me deal with big threats that uh, that my opponent gets on the board. Other than that, it's more or less the same. Um, decent amount of card drawn here to help you cast lots of spells. Skyclave Shade can be cast from the graveyard. Uh, if you, when you bring a land into, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> when you bring a land into play, of course, as you can read on his ability. So it just gives you more spells to cast. And uh, that's mainly what I'm going for this, to try to finish casting those 100 spells. So let's get to it and see how it goes. Okie dokie. All right. It's a bit of a start. Go with it. Okay, Chittering Harvester. Not bad. I wish I had some lower mana cost stuff though. Another two turns till I can mutate this. Oh, that's not good. Oops. I could have just attacked anyways. <laughs> Let's just be silly. Assert Dominance. <clears throat> Attacking with a zero power creature. Still nothing I can use. Are you kidding me? All right, well, let's just throw this down then. Call her good. On my high mana cost and then low, low spells, but nothing that gives me a battlefield presence except for this freaking egg. 
Uh, okay, so he gets his, uh, whatever this is, uh, stinging lionfish. Yeah, first spell during Okay, tap or on tap. Target an online print. Interesting. Okay. Four mana for this. Yeah. Yay, yay, yay. How much for this? Five mana. All right, let's go this way. Here, let's attack with the eggs first. See if he decides to block it. And even if he doesn't, that's fine. I'll flash in the shark and do the damage anyway. Bounce that back to his hand. Five damage. All right. Good start. Ooh, there's the Panishing Light. All right, all right. I can snap that Banishing Light back to his hand, but I don't know what good that'll do me. That hasn't seemed to be too useful this game, so we'll get rid of it, throw it to the bottom. <sighs> do I want these guys back? He'll get this Banishing Light back if I snap it back to his hand. There's really nothing else I can do right now, though. Let's do that. I'll let him take his turn. This is an instant, so I'll do it before my turn. I'll get my... I'll, I'll hit the Banishing Light, throw it back to his hand, get my creatures back. And then next turn, I'll mutate this flyer onto the egg, get some card draw, throw some damage in at him. He'll play the Banishing Light again, probably on the, her on the Heron that's mutated on the egg. <laughs> so I'll still have the Shore Shark in play, and I can mutate the Chittering Harvester the turn after and make him sack a creature. <laughs> and probably attack, hopefully. Get some damage in. <clears throat> so, ugh, very phlegmy today. <clears throat> I'm gonna clear my throat a lot. Uh, so we'll do it now. Right meow. Take the turn. Ooh, another egg. I'll be able to cast it this time too. Swing all in. He's got to block something. That's a lot of damage. Well, eight. Yeah, probably should block something. That's more than half his current health total. He doesn't. Takes it all. Okay. Let's throw another egg out there. He's going to hit this with a Banishing Light. He might hit the Shore Shark. I kind of hope he does hit the Shore Shark. I'd rather keep my Heron in the play. In play. In the play. <laughs> oh, sweet. He's going to have to sacrifice that creature next turn. I can even Chump Block with the Egg if I want. Ah, turn creature to his own. I was hoping I could snap this back to his hand again. So he didn't attack, but that's okay. I'll play this on the egg. He has to sacrifice this. That's that's a pretty solid play, I think. I think that's game, yeah. Boom. That worked out all right. <laughs> so far off to a bit better of a start than yesterday. Okay, so we are currently at 89 spells for our 100 to get our five free decks. Let me keep this hand too. Start off with the tap land because I have no one mana spells. <coughs> so, <coughs> so yeah. <laughs> What is that? Weaselback Redcap. So that's a giant weasel that this goblin's riding? <laughs> hmm. A giant weasel. Alright. Let's 
fill with the symbiote. Plus two, plus zero, yeah. These guys will still trade then. Let's go for the red cat. We'll leave the token on the field. Okay, removal, 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 removal. It's coming at me pretty fast and hard, so I'm gonna cast this. I wish that wasn't a tap land, but we'll have to make do. No attack. I'm gonna leave these guys open for blockers. I wouldn't mind mutating that chittering harvester onto the Tomb Raider. No, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he does. Does he have another shock? He's gonna finish this guy off. He does have one red mana. Nope. Alright. Okay, four mana. Is there something I wanted to do for... Yeah, I don't know why I made a big deal about a tap land. There's nothing I want to do for four mana. I definitely don't want to use any of my removal on his little token. Um, I want to do something, though. Four mana. That takes five, three, three, one. Yeah. I don't want to use anything on that dang token. All right, well, let's go. This one will gain a life. I'll hit him for a life. Boom. And, uh... <clears throat> we just switched. I was at 19, he was 20, and now it's <laughs> the other way around. Goblin Gathering, okay. He seems to be going heavy on the token. I really don't want to use a murder on these little tokens. Alright. Right now we're just trading damage back and forth, and I'm kind of okay with that. I'm not particularly okay with that. <laughs> you can make him sacrifice one. Get some real damage coming at him then, instead of some little, a little 1-3. So what do I have for mana? 2, 4, 5, do I want 6? I wouldn't mind 6. I'd be able to cast both of these in one turn. And I have the black mana to do it as well. Um, that's a good combat. Let's get rid of the symbiote. Oh, I shouldn't have, that's my only other creature. Dang, oh well. Oops. Chomping? Nope, he's taking it. So my four damage versus his two. I should have beat him in a race, but it depends on what else he plays. He's still got a lot of cards in his hand. How many has he been doing? One spell a turn? I don't think I've been doing much more than that. I could use another creature on the field, though. That is definitely something. Although I am beating him in this race. <laughs> Let's throw that down. And that. Ooh, what do we need? Lifelink or Death Touch? Ooh, ooh. Uh, he's got he's only played one one, so we'll go lifelink. You can play one of these, any which one of these two you want. Plus rookie mistake. So let's swing in with this guy still and leave my boot nipper for blocking. He's starting to chump. Okay. That's good. Let's weed out some of these creatures a little faster. So now I've got a lifelink blocker. That'll be really good. So if he attacks, I block. I use my rookie mistake to save my boot nipper. Go cathartic reunion. Okay, so filling up his hand. Okay, one mana left. Probably not enough to do anything unless he has a shock. Or another land. He's swinging all in. Okay. Well, with what he's got. What's he got on here? Royal Eruption. Three damage. To any target if spells kicked, it deals five damage instead. Still not enough for the Chittering Harvester. 
Let's pass that. I'm gonna block. Let's block this guy here. Block. Rookie mistake. Take two damage, gain two life. Ultimately, I go nowhere. And we're gonna zap his snoop now with a murder. Attack on him, he's got no blockers. I gained some life. Things are looking good. And I still have one removal spell left. Mythos of Nethroi. Dun dun dun. You can kill my boot nipper with the Royal Eruption. Hmm. That sucks. I'll just have to keep the pressure on him. Flying now. Flying. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, do I put it on my lifelink, or do I put it on this guy? Make him sack a creature. Let's make him sack a creature. What's going on here? Whoa, that little lag there. <sighs> make him sack a creature, give this guy flying. I'll still have enough to cast Nethroi. This will go under. Oh, draw a discard. Yeah, we're getting rid of... <laughs> I gotta keep that removal. That is very important. Draw a card. Nice, more removal. Now he sacks a creature. And, of course, he hits one of those little guys. Go with my flying. Things are not looking good for him. Got one more removal. He's probably gonna royal erupt my boot nipper. Oh, straight to face. Three damage. Any okay. He's got one card left. What is it? Another commander. Siege gang commander. No. Gang leader. Total wrong goblin. <laughs> I was talking about an actual goblin, but <laughs> not this one. Ah, uh, so what's he doing here? Swinging in this way. Do 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 do. Let's murder this guy. Three damage. Let's take the three damage. Can't block. Its kicker is three? Three. So, that's five? Oh yeah, I definitely have enough for that. Two plus one plus one counters. Let's just swing all in. He'll probably block the boot nipper and kill it now, but that's okay. I'll gain some life. He's down to one. And I'll rock this guy with the kicker. This guy was a good addition to this deck. Oh yeah, he can't block, right. But that's game anyway. Beat the mono red. Oh yeah. I think my modifications are doing pretty good with this deck. <laughs> well, let's see where we're, where we're sitting at now. Okay, so we were at 80, 89 spells for the 100. So we got 11 left. And I did switch decks to the uh, white and blue enchantment artifact deck just for fun because I figured I was getting so close. With 11 spells though, I probably should have kept playing the other deck, just to, it was a little bit better with the card draw to, to cast more spells, although I got some card draw right here. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. First turn, second turn, any one of these on the third turn, we're looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Probably go this guy, discard this guy, so I get good card advantage there. Probably the way that's going to go. So that's actually already looking like I'm going to cast one, two, at least three spells. Maybe four or five. So I should be at least halfway for what I have remaining in the, uh, in the challenge.
Okie dokie. So he just timed out, so... At least we get one spell. <laughs> that sucks too, this is a good hand for, for getting my last few spells in, like... Like, I don't get... Yeah, when people are not there right at the... Oh, there he is. Hello! Wow! <laughs> Thank God for uh, video editing, right? So none of you guys had to watch and sit through all that? That took forever. Two spells now. Down to what? Nine. Nine remaining. There's this guy. He draws three cards for seven mana, and I have to sacrifice them. Not terrible. I think I'll cast Thirst for Meaning, just to try to get more cards. I might discard this guy, we'll see what the three cards are for. Oh, excuse me. Um, I have five or more... Whoa. Five. You may draw a card, if you do, you lose a life. Wow, that's quite the card. Whoop, sorry. Too busy reading his card. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we could put a Capture Sphere on that guy. We got way too many lands. I'm going to discard lands. Holy jeez, too many lands. Too many. Wow, holy flooding. Ooh, I can hit that too on the Torbran. Or Torbax or ta Tabarax. Whatever. That guy. The guy up there. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with a... With a... St no, with a Banishing Light. And if he somehow kills my Vanishing Light and gets his creature back, I will capture Sphere, that guy. Casting spells, pecking away at my opponent. Now he's got Life Gain. I don't like the looks of Life Gain. Not cool, man. <laughs> no, it's cool for him, I guess. <laughs> he needs to play creatures to gain some life. Ooh, that's kind of dirty. <laughs> he sees I have it, too. No attack for now. Got a decent defense up. Some flyers. This guy over here. <laughs> Alright, looking good. Looking good. Oh, that has flash, too. Spells he has. Okay. Alright. He's getting a, a nice board going there. I need to get rid of his, this guy here, though. Tended healer. Should probably hit that guy with his other banishing light. And then maybe play my... This thing. Whatever it is. Because he's going to get lots of little kitty tokens as he keeps gaining life. So we'll hit this guy. with my flyer, do damage, drop this guy. So if I still have him on the battlefield, this has flash, so I can cast it during my opponent's turn for only three mana, as you see in the top corner, which it's, normally it's four. Oh yeah, he gets another one. Okay. Kind of figured when he knew I had that Banishing Light and he played that guy, kind of figured he had a plan. During each opponent's turn, tap or on tar target permanent. Hmm. Let's just throw this other bird down so I can get more flying. How many do we... How much is this? Seven. Two, four, five, six. Oh, I need one more land and I can cast that. But he'll see I have it too. Ah! Ah, I don't want this thing though. Ugh. Let's go with this and pray for that land. Pray for that land. He knows I have it and he knows I can't cast it. And this is what, seven mana as well? Yeah. I could cast it now, except it doesn't have flash, so I can't cast it now. 
Actually, my mana's all tapped anyway. Alright, now he's getting a big board going here. That kind of sucks. <sighs> Dang, I'm going to have to cast that for full, full cost. Uh, a rookie mistake would not be bad right now. I could attack on land. But, yeah, let's just stick with the stick it in the air still or whatever. Wish I could cast that for a little less, though. He's definitely going to block one of my owls, though. All his stupid dang life gain. All right, lock down that guy, and oh, that guy gets pumped. This is a decent, decent deck. He just keeps playing stuff, and just everything synergizes. Ay, ay, ay. It's like constant too. Like. Holy jeez, pump that guy up like crazy now. Ooh, all that glitters. That's not bad. How many it's artifacts and enchantments? Everything I have is either an artifact or an enchantment. This wall's an artifact. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's gonna get plus eight plus eight. Definitely gonna put that on one of my flyers. Yikes. You gonna Ooh, he takes it. And a big old whiff on that one. Unfortunate. Oh, he better not kill me. He might kill me this. I hope he doesn't. So he's got five life. That's not quite enough. Attacking for 11 in the air. Is he? Is he? With all my flying, he's dead next turn if he does. He's dead next turn anyways. Uh, I'll just chump it, I think. Or should I keep all my guys? Let's keep all my guys. No, let's chump it, just in case he has something in his hand that's going to make it kill me. <laughs> oh, lifelink. He can do that? That's dirty. He has no blockers. This is still enough damage. That's 16 exactly, and he's got no flying blockers. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's in there. Sweet. That went in there. <laughs> Did I get 11 spells, though? One, two, three. No, that's, that's, that doesn't count as one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Right on. That should be everything, then. Yeah, I see the check mark right there. More. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Five decks. Life skills. Put your life total to work for you, and your opponents will struggle to keep up. That's basically what happened that last game. Him and his life gain, that guy. Phew, that made things difficult for me. Luckily, all those flying owls carried me through to a victory. <laughs> Spell power. Each spark, each moat of magic. Moat of magic. Okay, we'll feel... <laughs> Fuel your power. Keep casting seize and seize victory. Back for more. Death is only the first step. What comes next or comes back is worth waiting for. Ooh. That was almost like a Halloween kind of thing. Back from the grave. Company of knights. Expect plenty of daring... Daring do? And heroics. What is daring do? and heroics when these gall gallant knights take the field. Massive menagerie. These creatures are large and in charge, and you'd better believe they mean business. Sweet deal, five decks. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
sh okay, shows you some. Oh, they give you a cleave here, Elder Gargrath. I played somebody who I thought was a relatively new player, and they had an Elder Gargrath, and I'm like, dang, that's a good card, a good mythic, and they've got like, they're definitely a new player, and they've got that already. But that's because it, they're giving it to you in one of the free decks. Same with Ember Cleave, that's a pretty boss card. Brazen Borrow is o Borrower is always handy, uh, and these guys aren't bad either. They're all pretty good. Elder Gargarath and is definitely one of my favorite. Ember Cleave is just a fan favorite. If you're not used to Magic the Gathering right now, like it's just it's Ember Cleave. <laughs> it's that's it. Let's take a quick look at our collection here. Boom! Look at all these new cards. Da -da 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 -da. I think I had one revitalized from another deck, or maybe cracked it in a booster. Maybe I'm not sure. But here we are with three in total now, which is, uh, so that's really good. Do, do Speaker of the Heavens, that's a good one. Lots of decent cards here. Do, do, do. Some pacifisms. That's a good card when you're starting out. Okay, you need some removal and you don't have any of those good rares. Pacifism is a classic. That card's been around forever. And they just keep reprinting it, reprinting it. So... Like, yeah, that's a good one when you're starting out. Really gives you that edge on the battlefield. Lots of goodies here. Lots of goodies here. All the new cards flooding into my account. All these unexpected fangs now. Like, all kinds of good spells coming up here. So we're black. We got red coming up next. Clack Bitch Troll there. That's pretty cool. Like that guy. This guy, Vito. Vito's a powerful one, too. Okay. Here we go with the red stuff. Oh, full set of Scorching Dragonfire. That is sweet. I, I think there's a video where I did show you a red deck that I was putting together in this account. Trying to be really budget-friendly. And uh, it had a full set of Scorching Dragonfires, but I only had two. And that's why I didn't want to use any wild cards. I'm like, let's get all these decks first and see how many cards we get in these free decks that they give you. And then look at that. All my Scorching uh, Dragonfires. I've got a full set of them for that other deck now, and I didn't have to use a single wild card on it. So it really helps to think about these things when you know you're going to be getting certain rewards and certain things. So you're like, ah, I won't use wild cards yet. I might be lucky and get the cards I need. So, uh, yeah, I always think of that. A few Beanstalker Giants. Those are good ones. Cultivate's a good one, too. Good Landfall card. Anything else in red that I like? Scorching Dragonfire was definitely a good one. Shock is a pretty pretty classic. It's just, I find two damage is just a little bit lacking on the uh, effectiveness. Uh, I love that it's any target though. The fact that it's any target is pretty, pretty boss. There's not a lot of cards that do it. Even Scorching Dragonfire doesn't do any target. It just does Creature or Planeswalker. All right, some of the green. So all these mixed colored ones here we got, except these two green here. A full set of uh, experimental overlords here. That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, very nice. Some good lands, mixed lands here. Equipment, Marleaf Pixie, three of them. They're pretty good in a green, green blue. They're good mana dork, two mana. Two mana, two two flyer, alone is okay. is is a pretty decent card. This guy also gives you mana, any one of those two colors too. So it's mana fixing, mana ramp, and a two mana, two two flyer. Can't go wrong. <laughs> I see the cat here, so that should be all of my new cards. Yep. Ta da! So that was pretty good. Five whole decks. And that's gone now. That whole thing that was there is gone now. So this is basically... Like, what we've been doing there is not really a tutorial, but you can consider your account at this point almost fully unlocked. Uh, because that was always there, and most people don't have that. Once when you've been playing Arena for a while, you don't have that extra challenge there for getting decks or that Mythic Rare wildcard that one day uh, and stuff like that. It's not there. Right? So all you have is your weekly wins, which we saw was over here. Daily wins was pushed over here. And then all our daily challenges were pushed way back here. But now that's gone. So you're 
account is pretty much fully open. At this point, you are on your own. <laughs> uh, you, there's no more free stuff that they're giving you. If you've done all those codes in the store, you've gotten all your free packs. So from this point onward, it's all about uh, winning games, earning money, if you want to build your collection and get more cards. Uh, so I will be continuing on with these beginner guides uh, videos to help you get started with that. That's part of that, that red deck that I built there. Uh, was to help after all these challenges are done, all these extra freebies they give you at the beginning, after those are all done, what do you do next? Well, that's what my next few episodes are going to be, or my next few videos. So if you like this one, thumbs up, all that stuff, subscribe, all that great stuff, and come to the next ones because uh, I'm really going to be helping you just get that extra start. So I'll see you at those next videos, and uh, have a good day. Cheers.